Hello, I'm Donnie. I'm the designer for Nomi Patterns number uh, 2075. Now this pattern goes up to a size uh, 48 inch for the waist. And this uh, sewing package includes a pattern for both this jacket and a pair of pants with a gusset. Uh, but today uh, we're only gonna be focusing on view A, which is this jacket. So this jacket has raglan sleeves, um, a notched collar and lapel. Uh, it also has, but it's also lined, and it has these double pockets. So it has a normal entry from the top, and there's a second pocket where you can enter in from the side. And I like having these pockets because there's like a separate pocket for my hands and a separate pocket for my stuff. Um, I can't remember if I just said this, but it's lined. And there is an extra angled pocket on the back that's mostly for fun. So the sample I made for the sew along today is made from this medium-ish, almost heavy, but definitely medium weight uh, cotton twill. And it's lined with some um, cotton lawn. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This pattern, you'll need two of the front pieces. And I've already um, marked all the um, pattern placement lines, notches, and I've also reinforced this corner. You also need two back pieces. Um, and I've already marked the pocket on the right side of the back. Um, if you're left-handed, you might want to switch the side of this back slanted pocket. I've also pre-pressed the hem up by, um, I think it was one and a half inches. Um, the press may not hold throughout the sewing process, but it serves as um, a nice reference when I'm sewing, and it will be easier to press later when I get to when I get to that step. You'll also need two front sleeve pieces, and similar to the back, I've pre-pressed the hem and two back sleeve pieces. And again, I've pre-pressed the hem. You'll also need two of the collar pieces. So here's my under collar. And again, I've marked every, every marking that I think is relevant um, with washable marker. So it'll, it'll just rinse right off. I've also got the upper collar here. Um, same thing, everything's already marked. And I have used some lightweight um, cotton scrap that I had as interfacing because I don't have any, any uh, fusible interfacing right now. I've also cut out my two um, front facing pieces. And again, I have already reinforced this top corner. I've drawn on or transferred over all the markings and I've run a reinforcement stitch along the inside edge. You'll also need um, these two front hem pieces, and these are also interfaced. Um, to do that, I just did a zigzag stitch around the edge. This pattern has uh, several pockets, um, and so you'll need four of these larger lower slash hip pockets. Um, and I've, again, I've already marked you know, the fold or the stitch line. I've reinforced the side edge where the um, entrance for the double pocket will be. And I've also cut out and interfaced the pocket flat pieces. Um, you also need uh, one front chest pocket. And I've, again, I've already drawn on all the, um, the uh, stitching line. And I've also uh, drawn on the um, the edge I'll fold in just to make it easier for myself. And I've also um, reinforced the um, corner with some stitching because I'll go in later with my um, peaking shears to reduce the, the bulk at these rounded corners later. And here is the um, slanted back pocket. It's a little smaller, but the construction is essentially the same as the chest pocket. And then that pocket also has a couple flaps or some flat pieces. And again, I've marked everything, interfaced, whatnot. 
this pattern is lined. And for my lining, I'm using this floral printed um, cotton lawn, I think. And here is the um, front lining pattern pieces. Here is the back pattern lining piece. Um, for this, you're using the same pattern as the shell or the outer fabric, except you're going to chop off the bottom hem by an inch. And similar to the shell, I've already pre-pressed the edge in, this time by five-eighths five of an inch. We also need two uh, front sleeve lining pieces and two back sleeve lining pieces. And again, for those sleeve lining pieces, I've already uh, marked and um, pressed. Well, I guess the press is already gone, um, but I did press down the um, pre-press down the hem. So I want to start with working on the front hip pockets. Here are two of my pattern pieces so far, and I've already cut or I've already marked the uh, cut lines I'll make. So I never already, I've also already um, reinforced the edge with some stitching. So I'm going to cut um, along this line uh, towards but not through the stitch line I just made. And on just the outside piece, I'm going to, um, or just on the pattern piece that will be on the outside, I'm going to fold in the seam allowance along the edge. Here is the top of one of my hip pockets, and I have uh, snipped between the markings, pressed it down, and then I top stitched it. So now what I'm going to do is lay it right sides together with the other pocket piece. And now I'm going to uh, straighten that out. And now I'm going to sew between this cut edge. Um, all around the pocket. Before I turn the pocket out, I'm going to trim off the corners and use my pinking shears to trim down the rounded edges. So now I have uh, pressed, turned out, pressed this pocket, and I've also uh, sewn along the stitching line. And now I have this uh, flap out here from the back pocket piece that I'm going to now fold in so it's nice and neat. And now I'm going to attach this to my um, front pattern piece. Between the two marked dots, so it's going to be right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew um, below. Oh, let me pull this up so you can see. I'm going to sew below that dot all the way around to the top edge, and then I'm going to sew on the other side from the top edge down to the other dot. Um, and then I'll come back and sew down this little flap.
Here is the pocket attached to one of the front sides. Uh, my top stitching is a little wobbly. Like you can see, it's not very perfect there. Um, and I think it technically bothers me right now, but I also know that's the kind of thing that I'll forget about um, once I finish this garment. So I'm just gonna move on. Um, now I want to attach the uh, back edge of this double pocket to the uh, front of the jacket. And the pattern instructions tell you to slip stitch, which you can totally do, but I'm just gonna machine stitch and um, edge stitch along this edge. It'll be um, a little finicky, but um, I think I can do it on my machine. Okay, here is the front pocket. I also bar tacked the um, edges of this pocket and the top edge of the pocket just for some more security. And now I have one pocket where I can come in from the side and it's a completely separate pocket from the one on the top. Um, okay, so this pocket is almost done. Now I need to add the pocket flap. Here are two of my larger pocket flap pieces. One of them is already interfaced. And now I'm going to sew them right sides together. Then I'm going to trim the rounded edges down with my pinking shears. Um, and then I'll turn it out, um, top stitch the uh, bottom edges and then I'll work on adding a buttonhole and then attach it to the front of my um, jacket. Okay, here is my um, almost finished pocket flap. And now I'm going to attach to the front pattern piece along the uh, marked line. So I've already marked my stitching line on the back of my pocket flap. Now I'm just going to line that up with the stitching line and then sew that down, trim this uh, seam allowance, press it over and then top stitch. Okay, so I've pressed and top stitched the pocket flap, and this pocket is almost done. I just need to uh, seam rip the buttonhole and sew on a button, but I'm going to do that at the very end. So I'm going to repeat this for the other side of the jacket, and now I'm going to move on to adding the um, chest pocket. So here is my chest pocket pattern piece. I've already traced out the um, lines I'm going to fold uh, the piece at, but I've also added in some um, reinforcement stitches along the bottom curved edges. Um, and I'm doing that because I'm also going to um, use some pinking shears to trim down the corners, that way it's easier to fold in. Um, and then the reinforcement stitches are just some uh, um, insurance in case I um, or to prevent any um, extra fraying. So this chest pocket also has an extra stitching line on the 
a left side or I guess the right side for the if you're wearing it. Um, and this is just for like putting in a pen or um, glasses or something. Here is my chest pocket. I've folded in and pressed uh, the edges. I've also folded and sewn down the top edge. Here's the inside. You can see I trimmed in the corners with my pinking shears. Um, so now I'm just going to attach it to my front jacket. And I'm going to line it up along the two dot markings. And I think I'll do what I did with the hip pocket where I'm going to sew two lines of top stitching along the edges, or sorry, one edge stitch, one line of edge stitching, and one line of top stitching next to that. I think I'm also going to bar tack along the top edge for some more security. And then I'm going to do one line of top stitching along this line so we can create a nice um, little pencil pocket. So here is my finished chest pocket. So the pocket's on this pattern, this front pattern piece are now done. Um, I'm going to move on to adding the uh, slanted back pocket, uh, but I'm just going to do that off camera because uh, the construction is you know, very similar to what I was showing you already. It's a simple patch like the chest pocket, but it has a flap like the um, lower hip pockets. So I'm going to do that, and then when I come back, I will work on um, sewing the uh, back pieces together and then sewing that to the front pieces. Okay. Here's me doing the pocket wrong, and I knew something felt wrong, but I didn't stop to think about why. So here I folded in the raw edge of the back pocket uh, towards the inside of the, the pocket itself which means this raw edge is now, um, I guess, visible. It's technically covered, so I think overall it's fine. Um, but you were supposed to turn it uh, the other way. So here's the other side of the jacket where I folded that edge in correctly, or away correctly, and you can see how it's a little away and a little bit neater here. Here are my front and back pieces with all of the pockets attached. Here's the front right side with just the lower hip pocket. I made a mistake when I was sewing this and I forgot to uh, sew down the top edge before attaching it to the uh, front of the jacket. And so the stitch line doesn't extend all the way to the edges. Um, I think that's fine though, no one's gonna really get too close enough to see it, so I'm going to hopefully forget about that mistake once I'm done sewing. Here is the front jacket with the chest pocket and the hip pocket. It's a little wet right now because I just sprayed it with some water to remove the, the washable pen. Here is the back right piece with the angled pocket, and the left back piece doesn't have anything. So now I'm going to attach the pattern pieces together. I'm going to attach the um, back pieces along right sides together along the center seam. And then I think I'll push the seam allowance to one side and then top stitch. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to attach the front pieces to the back pieces along the side seam. And then I'm going to press and top stitch the seam allowance towards the back. Um, I think the instructions tell you to press the seams open, um, and you can do that, but I like the look of uh, top stitching along the seams, so I'm going to do what I just said instead.
Okay, here are the uh, front and back pieces of my jacket sewn together. So here's the front left side, the two back pieces, and the front right side. And I've top stitched, or I've pressed the seams towards the back, and I've top stitched. Um, again, you don't have to do that, I just like the look, so I, I do it. Um, and if you want to be more faithful to the pattern instructions, you would uh, press the seams open. Um, so now I'm going to work on the sleeves. And um, for my next step, I'm going to sew the two sleeve pieces together, the front and the back. And like the body of the jacket, I'm going to uh, press and top stitch the uh, top seam towards the back sleeve pattern. Um, when I sew down the um, actual sleeve seam though, I, th I think I'll just press that open. So here is my sleeve, and now I'm going to attach it to the um, body of my jacket, right sides together. And I'm going to match the back sleeve to the back shoulder, go all the way down to the armpit sleeve seam, and then up again to the front sleeve and front of the jacket. Here is the jacket with just one sleeve attached. Um, maybe instructions say to do a second line of stitching uh, right next to the one you just made to reinforce the seam. Uh, but instead of doing that, I'm going to, to press the seam allowance towards the sleeve on both the front and back side and then top stitch that. Here's my jacket with the sleeves both attached, one sleeve, two sleeve, and I've already stay stitched the neck edge and I've pinned my under collar to my jacket. And now I'm going to sew between um, the large dots on the pattern, but I've marked it here at the beginning and end with uh, my ends. I've also clipped into um, where the pattern told me to clip to make getting around this corner easier. Uh, so now I'm going to sew this down and then move on to working on the lining.
So here's my under collar. Looks good so far. But actually, there's a little bit of puckering on this corner here. Um, I think that's fine, so I don't think I'll go back in and fix it. Let's check out this corner. Okay, yeah, this corner's a little worse. So I'm gonna maybe pull out a few stitches and fix this and then move on. Okay, this corner is looking a little better. I think it will look fine after I give it a press. So I'll just press the under collar um, and then move on to the lining. Okay, so I've sewn most of the lining off camera because it's quite similar to how uh, I sewed the shell of the jacket. So I first attached the two back pieces together and then I sewed the uh, front pieces to the back piece along the side seam. And then I sewed the sleeves along the underarm seam. And then I attached that to the uh, body of the jacket along that raglan seam. However, I left the outer seam of the sleeves open because I'm going to finish those with the facing. So now I'm going to work on uh, the facing. Here is my front facing piece, and here is my bottom hem facing piece. And I've already pressed the seam allowance in on the uh, longer straight edge. Now I'm going to sew these pieces together by matching them up along the notch. I'm going to sew these together. And then um, I think I'll press the seam open. My facing is now sewn and pressed. And now I'm going to match it right sides together with the front facing. I'm going to match up along the dots and notches, but I'm only going to sew, I'm going to start sewing or stop sewing at the uh, dot markings on both the front facing and the front lining. So I'm just going to check these, make sure they're lined up, and then I'm just going to sew all the way, all the way up. Okay, before I press this open, I'm just going to make sure everything is okay and everything is not okay. Uh, I have a small pucker right here, so I'm going to fix that real quick and then I'm going to press the seam open. I just finished pressing the seam open, uh, so now I'm ready to attach the um, upper or outer sleeve edge of the front and back sleeve together. Um, of course, matching notches and everything. So I'm going to finish that and work on the other side of this lining. And then we can come back together to work on attaching the upper collar.
Okay, here is my um, lining. I've already clipped into the corners where I need to, and I've stay stitched along the neck, the neck edge. Um, here is my upper collar, and now I'm going to attach it to my um, lining right sides together, and I'm going to match um, all the notches and dots as I need to. Um, once that's done, I'm going to press and then attach my lining to the shell. I just finished sewing the upper collar to the lining, so let's see how I did. I feel like at least one side will be puckered. Yeah, I'll need to go back in and fix this side, and this side. Looks like it will be okay after I press it. So, yeah, I'll fix this side and then um, I'll press it and then open or then work on um, attaching this to the uh, main jacket. Uh, now it's time to attach my lining to the main jacket and I'm going to sew it in three steps. First I'm going to sew this bottom hem edge or from this bottom hem edge all the way up to the large dot inside the or between the lapel and the collar then i'm going to stop take out my needle and then sew the collar together go across it and then once i get to the other set of large dots on between the collar and the lapel on the other side I'm going to stop and then sew from the lapel all the way down to the bottom oops, let's see, down to the bottom edge again. Hello, uh, this is editing Donnie. Um, I'm jumping in to say because I don't think I explained it very well in that last clip. But when you're sewing um, the lapel together and are coming into that corner where the lapel and collar meet, um, you want to be very careful not to stitch over the stitches or the stitch line where you attach the collar to the front of the jacket uh, because you'll end up causing either the collar or the lapel to pucker. Um, so just be very careful, um, go slowly if you need to, and be very careful not to stitch over that um, line.
I have just finished <clears throat> attaching the lining to my jacket along the lapel, or the lapels and the collar and everything. So before I turn everything out, I'm going to quickly check the little notch corners and I hope they look good. So I'm not going to turn out the corners fully yet, just enough to see if the notch is okay. And this side, I think, is okay. Um, we'll see how it looks when I press it. But it looks like I have a little bit of, little bit of pulling right here. Um, so I might actually um, undo this a little bit and re-sew re it. Uh, what hap likely happened here is I accident, I probably accidentally caught the um, collar while sewing the lapel together. Let's check the other side. Okay, uh, this side looks a lot better. It's pretty smooth. There's no puckering or pulling. As opposed to this side, there's, well, Actually, now that I'm looking at it again, I don't, I don't know if that's really a problem. Um, I'm going to wait to press this, and if it looks okay after pressing, I'll, I'll not worry about this little bit right here. Okay, I've turned out the corners of the collar and lapel just to check the corner or the notch again. And um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Pretty clean on this side. And this side looks okay too. There's maybe a wrinkle here. Mm, no, okay. I think this looks fine. So I'm not gonna redo this like I said I would, um, especially since it's on the back anyway, like it's gonna be folded over like this. So it won't really be visible anyway. Um, now I'm going to understitch the top collar. So I'm going to press the seam allowance um, away from the uh, upper collar and then understitch it as much as I can. Uh, it's gonna be a little finicky, so um, I won't know until I actually do it, but I'm assuming I'll only be able to get from like, I don't know, maybe from here to here. We'll see. Um, it says it's a an as much as you can kind of situation, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I also think I'll end up top stitching the collar or the entire lapel and the collar, so um, not, it's not a really big deal, I think, if I can't understitch this entire seam. So I've understitched and pressed the collar, um, and now I'm going to start um, tacking down the lining to the shell in a couple places. So uh, the instructions say to do the shoulders and um, armpit seams, which I'll do, but I'm also going to sew the uh, seam allowance of the collars together. So I pressed the seam allowances of the upper and under collar open, or at least they were open. I think they've closed up now since I sewed it. But what I'm going to do now is open these up again. And I think between the snips, I'm going to sew down that entire seam allowance. It doesn't need to be close to the seam allowance at all. I'm just doing that to hold these together. Um, I wonder if I can get it over here too. No, I'll just do it between the snips. Um, and after that, I'm going to use maybe probably a, a hand needle and thread just to tack down the armpits and the upper, upper arm seam. Um, and then uh, we'll move on to finishing the uh, sleeve hem.
so I changed my mind about uh, tacking down the um, uh, lining before I moved on to the sleeve hem. I think I'm going to finish the sleeve hem first. So the instructions say to press and sew the um, outer jacket and then slip stitch the lining, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sew it. Um, in order to do that, I've already pressed in the hem of the sleeve and I've pressed in the seam allowance of the lining. Um, so now what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to line up the seam allowances as best I can from the outside. And then I'm going to reach between the jacket and lining all the way up the sleeve. And grab the seam allowances of both the hem and the lining fabric, or the jacket hem and the lining fabric. And once I've got those held, I'm going to pull it through. And now that those are, make sure those are lined up. They're a little off center, actually. Okay. Making sure they're lined up. I'm now going to sew all the way around. Um, this will make the uh, sleeve hem a little more, a little more secure. So here is the sleeve hem and lining that I just finished sewing. And I think I'm ready to do the other side, tack down the lining in a few places, and then I'll finish up the hem. I have just, I've just finished sewing the lining to the other sleeve, um, and now I'm going to move on to the hem. So I've pressed the hem already. I've pressed the rest of the uh, front lapel and the hem up already. And uh, the rest of this is um, essentially hand sewing. So I'm going to baste along this edge. And once that's down, I'm going to fold in the lining by its seam allowance and then fold or then slip stitch that to the um, hem. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the sleeves, just so they don't move around too much. Um, and since this is just hand sewing, I'll do it off camera. And I think I'll finish the rest of the jacket off camera, actually, because it's just a few more buttonholes, adding buttons, and I might top stitch the collar and the pel. Um, we'll see. Uh, but the next time I record, the jacket will hopefully be finished. Okay, here is the finished jacket. I still need to give it a good press in a couple places, and I need to wipe off some of the fabric marker. But otherwise, it's done. So here's the front. Here's the side with the double side entry pocket. Here's the back and the back angled pocket. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the lining too, but again, I need to wipe off the fabric marker. Um, so yeah, that's it for the sew along video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, or if you're following along as a guide, I hope you found uh, parts of it useful. Um, yeah, thank you.